हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आज लेक्चर नंबर फोर लीनियर इक्वेशन इन टू वेरिएबल्स लेक्चर नंबर थ्री में स्टूडेंट क्वेश्चन नंबर टू का फर्स्ट सेकंड थर्ड क्वेश्चन किए थे अभी इस लेक्चर में हम लोग करने वाले क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एंड एट ओके सो दिस इज वॉट टेक्सट बुक पेज नंबर फाइव क्वेश्चन नंबर टू सॉल्व इन फॉलोइंग इक्वेशन ओके सो स्टूडेंट नाउ वी स्टार्ट दिस क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर and question number 4 is question number 4 is 5n minus 3n and this is equal to 19 and second equation is m minus 6n and this is equal to minus 7 so this is the equation question number 4 having two equation 5m minus 3n is equal to 19 And m minus six n is equal to minus seven, and we know how to solve this simultaneous equation. To start the solution, first we'll take five m minus three n, and this is equal to nineteen. This will be equation number one, and then we'll write m minus six n, and this is equal to minus seven. This will be the equation number two. Now, then we will make the coefficient. of variable n same so here coefficient is minus 3 and in equation number 2 the coefficient of n is minus 6 so if you will multiply equation 1 by 2 so you will get here 6n so both the coefficient now will be same so we we'll multiply multiply equation equation 1 by 2 so multiply you will get 5 to the 10 n minus 3 to the 6 n and this is equal to 19 to the 38 this will be equation number 3 now you will see equation number 2 and 3 when you will observe equation number 2 and equation 3 you will come to know now the coefficient of variable n is same and now we will check the sign so both the uh, in both the cases the sign is minus so the sign is same so you will subtract so i will write subtracting subtracting equation 2 and equation 3 we get So what is equation two? So first we write the equation two. So equation two is what m minus six n. This is equal to minus seven. And equation number three is ten m minus six n. And this is equal to thirty eight. This is equation number two. We know that for the subtraction, sign will change. So it's right. This is plus. This becomes minus. This minus becomes plus, and this plus becomes minus. Now when you will subtract, so this is plus one m, this is minus ten m, so this will be minus nine m, and this now minus six m plus six m will cancel out, and this you will get minus seven minus thirty eight minus forty five. So minus nine m is equal to minus forty five. Therefore, m is equal to minus forty five upon minus nine. And you will simplify. So nine one is a nine. Nine five is a forty five. So therefore, m is equal to what five. And this five is positive because when you will divide minus forty five by minus nine, so minus minus will cancel out. Nine one is a nine. Nine five is a forty five. So here m is equal to what you will get. You will get five. Now you will put. You will put what. M is equal to five in equation one. So when we will put M is equal to five in equation one, what is equation one? Equation one is five M minus three M, and this is equal to ninety. Five M minus three M, this is equal to ninety. Now we will put M is equal to five. So five, this is M is what again five. 
minus 3r, this is equal to 19. So 5 pi is a what? 25 minus 3r is equal to 19. And therefore, minus 3r, this is equal to 19. This plus 25 will transfer to right hand side. You will get minus 25. And therefore, minus 3r is equal to what? 19 minus 25, what you will get? You will get minus 6. Okay. So, what will be the value of n? n will be minus 6 divided by minus 3. Again, this minus will cancel out. This becomes plus. So, 3 1s are 3 and 3 2s are 6. And therefore, n is equal to 2. Okay. What you will get? You will get n is equal to 2. So, what is the answer? You will write the answer then. What is the solution? You will write answer. And the right solution, solution is that is x comma y is equal to what is x? Oh, sorry, not x comma y. Here is m and n. So write m comma n is what is m? M is your five and n is two. So write five comma two. Okay, students. So this is the what solution of fourth question. Now we will see the solution of fifth question. Okay, so I will erase this part and now we will move for question number five. Again, okay, question number five is easy. So now we will deal with question number five. So this is the word question number 5, sub question number 5 of question number 2. So how we will solve, first I will write the question number 5 that is 5x plus 2y, this is equal to minus 3 and x plus 5y, this is equal to 4. Student, I always eliminating what second variable you can uh, you can eliminate first variable also okay so this is your choice which variable you want to cancel out okay this is up to you so again i will start the solution so i will write this is what 5x plus 2y this is equal to minus 3 i will write equation number 1 and then x plus 5y, this is equal to 4, this is equation number 2. Now, friend, today I am going to explain this example by eliminating x variable. Up to we have, uh, we eliminate second variable. Now, in this question, I am going to eliminate x variable, okay. Now, what we will do? Now, here we will check the coefficient of x variable is 5 in first equation and coefficient of x is 1 in second equation so what we will do to make the coefficient of x variable equal or same so we have to multiply equation 2 by 5 so I will write multiply equation 2 by 5 we are going to multiply equation 2 by 5 we get so what you will get when you will multiply by 5 so you will get 5x okay plus 5 as a 25y and this is equal to 5 4 the 20 this is equation number 3 now you see uh, equation number 1 and equation number 3 what you will get in equation 1 and equation 3 now See, the coefficient of x is same, that is 5, and both in both condition, in the both the equation, equation 1 and 3, you will see that x is positive. So x is plus 5, and here also x is plus 5. So again, you are getting same sign. So you know that when you are getting same sign, so you are going to subtract equation. Okay. So you are going to subtract equation 1 and 3. So 
I will write subtracting subtracting equation one and equation three, and we get. How will subtract students? So first I will write equation number one. That equation number one is what five x plus two y is equal to minus three, and equation number three is five x plus twenty five y is equal to twenty. And then I will subtract. Yes, student. So now you will subtract. You will change the sign. This is plus, so this will become minus. This plus, this will become minus. This plus, this becomes minus. Now this plus five x and minus five x will cancel out. Now what will be the value of y here? So this is minus twenty five plus two. So this will be minus twenty three y. And this is equal to minus three and minus twenty is minus twenty three. Okay. So what will be the value of y? Therefore, you will get y is equal to minus twenty three divided by minus twenty three, and which is equal to one. Because same when we divide same number by same number, you will get answer one. So therefore, what is the value of y? Y is equal to one. Clear, students? So here. You are getting one solution that is y is equal to one. Now you will put the value of y in equation one, two, or three. So you will get the value of x. So let us put put y is equal to one in equation. Put y is equal to one in equation one. And what is equation one? Just will write the equation one. So equation one is five x plus two y is equal to minus three. 5x plus 2y is equal to minus 3. So this is the equation number one. Here we are going to put the value of y, and y is one. Therefore, you will get 5x plus 2. What is y? Y is one, and this is equal to minus 3. So therefore, 5x is equal to what? This is minus 3. 2 ones are 2, and we will transfer to right hand side. So this will be minus 2. So this becomes minus two. So therefore, five x is equal to minus five, minus two, minus three, and minus two, minus five. And therefore, x is equal to minus five divided by five, which is equal to one, not one. This will be equal to what? Minus one. So here, x is equal to what? X is equal to minus one. Clear? So what is y? Y is y is one. The value of y variable is one. And the value of x variable is also one. That is minus one. So we'll write the answer. I will write the answer. Solution. Solution is that is x comma y, and your x is minus one. Okay. X is minus one and y is minus one. Oh, sorry, plus one. So x is minus one and y is plus one. Okay, students. So in the, uh, question number five, we have eliminated first variable that is x. So from this example, this is very uh, easy to understand. You can eliminate any variable. This is up to you, and this is your choice which variable you want to eliminate. Okay. So students, here we are. I have completed the question number four and five in this video, and uh, six, seven, and eight. This question, I will. complete in the next video okay students so thank you for watching my videos have a nice day